cool. That's helped a lot as well in my like in my progression. But um yeah, so then I'd say about year what? Year five as we were saying, yeah. End okay. of year five, year six. So like two thousand four, whatever. Um MSN was doing this thing and um it was cool, I was always fascinated by people that could change their like the colours and their name and shit. They could be like <laughs> demodulated like red to blue and all the Boy. rainbow stuff and that that was like early coding. Now I look back, but that's that basically was, coding, basically you know? was, you know. I swear to God. So um so that was like I was always cool, so I learned about like doing that, it was cool and then productions were in, so I kinda like just wanted to make one production. I wasn't gonna pay someone to make no fucking lightning strike shit for me. <laughs> so I was like, um luckily one of my older brothers was like a computer guy and it's oh, like, okay so he taught you he how had to all the cracks he had all the codes <laughs> he literally had all the codes so he had all the software whatever his bootlegging and shit and um yeah so i, I kind of just observed because he, he's like this is probably where i get my attitude from because that like, my my brothers and that would never just tell me shit like oh do this do that like they're just almost like keep it like learn isn't it just watch what i do you know what i mean okay so it's just fucked up <laughs> <laughs> now i think about it but at the same time it just taught me to be like inquisitive and like okay so it wasn't a thing where he's like yeah this is how you nah, do this, nah, this is nah. how you early so early days I was, <laughs> i'd have to ask him like i have to beg him for weeks to like install some fucking program oh or wow do you know what i mean so well, why I was, like, what was what was because that's like that's like come on it's not like that serious, <laughs> it's not that serious it's not that serious i don't know why i, I don't know where you got it from but he maybe but was just bothering him like the fam just leave me yeah, alone yeah like, probably kind of probably well okay. i was the youngest in it so he's probably thinking what did you anyway, like, <laughs> this guy is fresh air but like, even then you still that basically followed you because like you were saying just now when you're dealing with people you're gonna you give them room to exactly okay to kind of assess where things go work and don't work do you know what i mean Cause, like with learning that's that's the best way to learn is by practice you know what i mean like mm-hmm. doing it so to me i don't know like obviously i, I might be taking it for adva- for granted but it makes sense that after a project you review you see what worked or didn't work you self-reflect you know what i'm saying yeah. like you take a step back you go through that process and then you figure out how to do the next one better okay so anyway so yeah that's me now but yeah um <laughs> back then so i learned a lot from like just overseeing seeing what my brother shit what my brother did and whatever so Anyway, got my head around it um, and installed Photo Impact. Okay. And then that's when I started making productions. I was like, cool, whatever, MSM, whatever. Then MySpace, whatever, all that stuff, just grew, started making pages and whatever. Um, friends in school were like into music, so I was like doing that stuff. They were trying to break us like an early grime crew. Right? Okay. Were, like, young. And so what, this is at secondary school now? This is secondary, yeah. Okay. So they were like getting their shit going, and I rated them, they were like super sick. So I was like, I know all my boys, so I'm like, it hard. Less um, but I, I didn't. I weren't gonna spit like that. I mean, there, was a, there was a few. <laughs> so you knew you wasn't about the. the but I wasn't life. really about the oh like, days. like do you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know, like, I got that shyness that I, I would do it though, and I do it well. This is this is the fucked up thing is that now, like, if I wanted, if I do it, I want to really be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like for me, good is like the greats, like Jane, you know, like Kendricks and Jay Z's and these, but even like the Getzes and whoever. Like, I gotta be better than these guys. I'm not coming out the gate with nothing, <laughs> nothing oh less than that oh, shit. So even from secondary school, you're not even t- talking about your man then. You're talking about whoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh I'm just thinking days. like, nah, like if I'm going to do it, I've got to be on this level. Like, like people need to take me in like that. Okay. And I'm going to work hard oh, until wait, wait, I get wait. that. So you went into production now? So anyway, so I went into like... Um, because I want to ask, was your production on Timberland level? Was it on No, like, no, no, not even making was beats. It? it wasn't even oh. making beats. I was like, there's a few like tunes, you know, little, little skeletons okay, okay, or like a okay, okay, couple okay, of dish okay. joints, like, you know, okay. a couple bars and that, but it was nothing serious. Like, I was always like, I could be good if yeah, I had yeah. spend time, but like, this ain't really what I want to do, you know what I mean? I don't really, hey, yeah. or if I do, i will be like, Diddy and you have to like me, car. <laughs> you have to, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was kind of the attitude. So anyway, I rated these guys for like being able to, to do it. Do you know what I mean? At the stage that they were at, and I thought they were hard as well. So anyway, um, yeah, I was trying to like figure out. So how do I fit into this whole complex? I ain't really trying to be just around. Okay. I was never like trying to just be around. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So I was like, if I'm around, it's for a purpose or a reason. That either serves me or it serves all of us. And I was, I was struggling to find that anyway. So then I was like, how how are they presented? Because I was like a forum kid innit so I was like on all these forums and like okay. illegally downloading shit and like <laughs> do you know what I'm saying so I'd be scrolling through these forums and seeing artwork and that's like my first point of contact with the music and I'm like why ain't 
our stuff, why don't our stuff look like that? Okay. That was my first thing. I was like, I was like until our stuff looks like that, why are people going to take us serious? Or anyone serious, you know what I mean? And I just started looking at, like, the UK music scene, because I was, like, super into music, obviously. I was looking at all the artwork that I, like, from UK people. I was like, it just doesn't add up, like. And then... So this is across the board now? This is not even, like, just, like, grime? Like, you're talking about No, anything? yeah, so I'm just talking, like, generally music, because okay. I'm, like, a fan of music from all sorts of... all sorts of genres. So okay. I'm just, like, just trying to take it in and understand. All right, cool. There are some... Obviously, they were, like big pop stars in the UK that levels up but yeah. at an underground level like how do you how do you make that move uh-huh. and what does that look like and like being influenced by like Americans obviously because I was like a super big influence music musically of like rap and shit I looked at those those roots and I was just like alright cool well you gotta, you gotta look the part <laughs> so I was like alright cool um, let me try start making some of these covers yeah so I literally just made a cover made a name everything and then well, for no one's for not particular projects just like nah, a general nah, I literally just made this cover yeah okay <laughs> it was like I still think it's one of my hardest things to this day bro oh, I was nice. like, it, was, it was hard it was so hard and then um, I showed it to them they were like yeah this is fucking sick they called it it that they made physicals I've got the physical at home it's just like so they just went with the cover like yeah yeah okay Bam. like <laughs> they were like yeah this is so sick <laughs> calling the project this it was called um do your research. Wait, did you put that on the t- on the thing? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they decided their project yeah, was called Do Your Research. Yes, literally, I did like this kind of like case study, you not know, like these detective sort of desk vibes. Okay. And I had pictures of each one of them, and it was like this. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> it, was like, it was like super, super kind of cool, and then um, super kind of cool. Imagine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, they ran with that. I was sick, and then that was my first interaction with like a physical product when they when it was made because they were working. Okay. With, a super good charity, I don't know if it's still running, but called Rise and Tide in um, Hackney, okay. Town Hall, and they'd like help young people in music and that doing stuff. So they um, they they did something, so they did something um, and they got behind it, so they um, made some physicals, whatever. Yeah. So that was cool. And I was like, oh shit, that was like the first time I was like, yo, okay. imagine. That's like, how you got, that's how you got. Screen to like, yeah. something like, oh, that's like super wild. That kind of continued now, like, it's like more forums, like uh, Photoshop tutorials, all up in there. Like, you know, like people make threads just for no reason, like remaking American artwork. Yeah. Stuff. Like, so I made, I was, like, I was just like making stuff, like G- young Jeezy covers that don't exist. And like, okay. <laughs> you know, like uh, Black History Month pieces, just like for no reason I'm putting on the forum and like okay. people were giving feedback and. I was like, oh, this is kind of, this is getting, yeah, like, yeah. I'm going, like, this is working, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So basically from, from you doing that, that kind of like got you hooked into like a different yeah. avenue, like you yeah, just yeah. started learning by yourself now, this is you just discovering. Literally. Okay. Literally. Okay. Um, and yeah, and in the UK there was this guy, Funny Tommy, don't know what he's up to now, but he was like the guy for our work, like, he's doing these like caricature, like drawings, like hand drawn shit, and I was just like, until shit's on his level, do you know what I mean? Like, like, and all the guys in the UK that are going to him are having big projects. I'm talking like, them times was like SAS and Bashi. And, okay. And like funny then Blade Brown, like, but like you know, that like funny yeah. time was doing these joints. I was like, all right, cool. He's official, and then, but like, that was the only example for me in the UK of like someone putting their name behind something or whatever. Anyway, long story short, met like loads of different people, did loads of different, like just, one away friends of friends or artists of just trying to have some presence in yeah. in the graphic world if that means there really wasn't one but it was like funny Tommy was the guy so yeah. I was like I want to be like him really like I also have my stamp where you know what I mean did that did that and then um fucking hell it's a long story <laughs> um one of the artists part of the part of the crew scars um he was at a production studio not far from here in Old Street, actually, which is crazy now I think about it because it's like yeah, but it's, everything's so different. It's like, it's so mad. Like, them times, Old Street was like city to me. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I'd be like, oh shit, I'm in city. Like, man, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know how close in proximity from that like, Hackney, like, this is like next door neighbours. <laughs> but anyway, so um, we were there, he was doing some film work. He's, he's a director now. Okay. So he was doing some early film work and he managed to get a camera get his hands on a camera or whatever and um, he sold it no he didn't even sell it to me he gave it to me 
We just gave you the camera. Gave it to me because me and him would link up. Like we were just into this camera thing. Okay. Like me and him would just link up. Like we weren't even that like, we didn't go to the same school, but I met him because he spat in the group. Through the group, okay. So I was like, ah, right, cool. And me and him started like, just linking up one away, just us two, and like, I going to this place, um, mouth that roars, and just doing little projects and like, do you know what I mean? And like just doing. Shit. What kind of things were you filming? So we did a we done a short movie because back then I was like low key into acting as well. Like, that was my thing back then. I was like. I wanted to be an actor, so I was going like drama schools and doing all these things. But um, so then they like, oh, they were like, ah, oh, I'm after rules. They wanted to do a short film. Okay. So I was like, cool, shit, I'm down. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, first little something, you know what I mean? Um, so we sh- they we sh- they shot that there, sent us DVDs and stuff. That was just more like doing shit and then physical and yeah. like, oh man, it's like it's real. Then anyway, Scars had to go get some camera, gave it to me. Like, I literally just gave it to me. I was like, oh, say. And then I started just going around and taking shots. Many of them, like on stage, and they were doing like shows and okay. stuff. Okay, so basically, like filming or documenting their their journey as, yeah, exactly. as a group, taking pictures. Then I like, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. It's got to look like my thing's always if you're gonna do it, it's got to look good, and you gotta like want to do it. So I started going to school and just like like promoting it. It was called free. All hour. this time, by the way, is this still is this still secondary school time? This is secondary school. So academically, like, are you are you leaning more towards art, like creative stuff, or are you are you just still like are you good at everything or like good at some like nah, do you know what I mean look at that bro like I'm good <laughs> at whatever I want to be good at do you know what I'm saying yeah. not, not that not taking it for granted not yeah. that some people aren't just generally gifted but if I want to be good at something that's the attitude I'm going to be good okay. so like it's just whatever subjects I was lacking in I just had to go hard if I wanted to like, I didn't for all of them like, I got yeah. some D's you know what I'm saying some low keys but like maths for example I was in like third set and I was supposed to get uh, predicted a C Highest, I got a start. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just, but I, but I went hard. Like, I went library. Like, I, was, I was banging work, and then that was just more like realization that like, yo, you get what you put in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? My mum always yo, like you get what you put in. I saw her put in. She got like, do you know what I'm saying? That like, it was just like a consistent theme. So that's why I don't think I'm not good at anything. Like, mm-hmm. like cool right now, but I can. Give be. me the time to, and I'll be able to. Does. And everyone, everyone's the same. Like, everyone has the potential, but you just gotta want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. Going more towards, like, this whole, like, series. It's called What's Wrong with Amanda, and just thinking about what you just said now. Mm. Uh, me, personally, I feel like a lot of people don't give themselves the chance to even figure out what they can potentially be good at. Like you just said yourself. Yeah. You give yourself, if you have the time and you put the work in, you're going to get it up. Mm. Uh, what's your thought process on, like, what we can do as young people, especially people from ethnic minorities? Like, yeah. How can we, like, better ourselves? <laughs> I know it's a broad question, but, like, <laughs> you can take it whichever way you it's want. It's a very like, heavy question, because it's, like... Out. It's not like a singular thing. Like there's a small facet. Like there's so many different reasons as to why certain young people behave the way they do. Mm-hmm. From home variables to government variables yeah. to mental health variables. Do you know what I'm saying? That is yeah. that. So like it's too broad for me to yeah. say. Okay, let me try and narrow it down. <laughs> let me ask it a different way. So, for example, for you yourself, now mm. you're basically someone who does creative you do creative things so mm. um you haven't mentioned it but you've got like the clothing line you've got the music experience you've got the graphic design experience um what was it that made you decide okay i'm gonna go after this particular these particular set of skills that i have because let's be real people from our background just more most of the time it's like okay you go to school mm. you get grades mm-hmm. and then you're going to the corporate environment right. what made you decide okay i'm not really gonna do that even though it's a more sure thing to do mm. in terms of like you're almost guaranteed certain things even though nothing's nothing's guaranteed but it's a safer yeah. route what made you decide okay i'm gonna go down this one i don't know i didn't i never saw anything as a safer route do you know what i'm saying i never mm. saw i don't know that like maybe i'm like, i am super privileged to like have a different perspective like quite an alternative perspective i'd mm-hmm. say like just in general so like from young, I never like subscribed to certain things. Like, certain things were just like not really making, not really yeah, adding up yeah. for me. And like, you know, what I mean? like we had TV, we had the internet, and like I just see like, do you know, what I'm saying? Like, I ask certain questions, and I'm just like, I was very like like that when I was younger. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was never my mom and your mom saying stuff. It's just like, <laughs> yo, I'm just like I'm gonna do my thing. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I always kind of had some foresight that my thing was going to be a big thing. Okay. Like, and at that stage, I didn't know what, what it was. I mean, what was my earliest like dreams of probably being a chef um, and a 
a chef and an actor because they were like the two highest paid jobs roles that I came across. Yeah. So that was my thing, that like, I went to be a chef and actor. But it was like, that I've always had sort of like big expectations in yeah. that sense, in that sort of, in that, in that realm. Um, yeah, so I was going to ask, I was going to ask you, um, obviously a lot of this, a lot of the schools you have are self-taught mm. and self-sufficient. So right. what made you decide to go down that route rather than, I don't know, going to uni and studying graphics or going after I mean, uni, going to work for a graphics company and doing it that way? You know what I mean? Like, why are you doing this? I like that. Um, to be honest, with graphics and, and art and shit, I never like, I don't know, I never thought I was good. I still don't really think I'm that good to get Even though yeah. I fuck on myself, like, I'm <laughs> sick. I'm sick, but I, I don't like, I work like, obviously in creative industry and there's yeah. designers up there and I'm like, okay, this is like a, you men are, you men are like serious, like this is, but this is 10 years, 20 years plus. So yeah. I just kind of see it in perspective, but um, it's, instead of going to uni and doing graphics, like, that was never something that I would have like, I could never draw. Not even I graphics, I mean like, was and shit. I, I mean like uni, everything though. you do. I went to uni though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I did, but, I did, but, um, what did you say again? Music management. Okay. Music industry management. Outside of uni, maybe not even uni. Like mm. when you left, for example, you've got a clothing line. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what's which is called by the way? Um, <laughs> you should know. For the plug, fam. <laughs> hold, know, on, hold on. Fuji and I can't. It's Japanese, man. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. Say how you say it. Humish, it? Humisho? Nah, come on, my guy. Who, who? Hakoni. Hakoni. Listen, you see, what I mean, like Japanese ain't my strong point. <laughs> Hakoni. <laughs> I was asking. Okay, why do you decide not to basically join like companies, for example, a fashion company for your clothing line right. or a music a music label for your the music right. experience you've got? Why do you decide to go that on your own? Um, mainly because rejection, innit? <laughs> like, I went to work for a label. Okay. I went to the A&R, innit? So I went to be within the label, um, but then I, I didn't get any opportunities, so I had to just do it myself. So I built my own label and A&R for myself, if that makes sense. Yeah. And then... I kind of, I carried on that energy really, in any, in any like field that I got into. But obviously, I don't take it for granted. Just like, oh shit, I want to be a doctor. I'm gonna be a doctor. Mm -hmm. like, I know like what what it takes and how dedicated you gotta be. But generally, like this fashion idea, I've been. Like, I went to Japan when I was 16, 25 now. So it's like that. I had the inception of that idea was from in Japan. Like, I thought okay. about doing. Why this. did you go to Japan when you were 16? I always wanted to go there, you know. Um, my mum had this thing that like, my, all my three brothers, that like, when we were 16, we could go to any country we wanted to. What, by yourself or like? With, with her. With her, okay. okay yeah, yeah. Cool. So like, my brother went to Cuba or whatever. And I just wanted to go to Japan. So I went, we went. Fucking amazing. And I wanted to get this G-Shock that was out there that I couldn't okay. get. Okay. So I was like, ah, oh, no, nah, man, I've got to get this. Yeah, it was like some yellow G-Shock. And we found that out there. So, yeah, we went there and that was just, like... Mental. How long is it there? Just over a week. Okay. And what, so what, being there completely different from Hackney. Crazy. Like, I can imagine what that's like. And it's interesting you mentioned that as well, because I'm reading, I was, well, I finished reading a book now um, by Phil Knight. And With, the guy, oh, um, Nike. Shoe Dog. Yeah, Shoe Dog. Oh, I yeah. need to start it, to be honest. So, um, but he went to, basically he went to Japan as well. Right. And got inspired, et cetera, mm. and started his whole, his, basically it was a running shoe he started yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, um, So I can even see like, the commonality between the two of you, like, following something that inspires you exactly. and then allowing it to mm. grow into something bigger than just the experience you took it to the next step which was um the clothing label yeah, yeah, which yeah. i ain't gonna play myself <laughs> this time <laughs> you're gonna catch me you got it you're good well yeah um, so yeah that's um that's interesting that's very interesting appreciate it man um, appreciate like i said from conversation in it yeah so. yeah i mean i mean you touched on the man vibe i want to get your i want to get your because you're like a young you know yeah. I look at you as young because like, I'm almost on that edge right now. I'm like, ah. just, you know what I'm saying? I'm edging that 30 vibe. So. Fam, that's only 20, man. I actually, I actually think it is. It's cool. I have when a you're 30 and you're, ten, and you're, and you're communicating with 23 year olds, they look at you like you're old as fuck. So, they, yeah. may, they think <laughs> that, but for example, I've got an older brother, he's 32. Mm. And I, he, I remember when he was my age. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Likewise, he's, 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 he's like, he's obviously when I say exactly the same, I don't mean he's like mature on that. But yeah, yeah. He still, he he's still feels him. young. He yeah, still yeah, feels yeah, fresh. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. So, but well, yeah. So, what was your question? Um, just getting your perspective as like someone. Like, obviously, I don't live where I grew up anymore. Like, not for any reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, yeah. just life circumstantially. But for yourself, you may do. You, you still live where you grew up. Yeah. yeah. So like, and obviously in the wider using from like a wider lens kind of the things you've been exposed to now and like just your take on the youth the youth vibe in London right now. Youth vibe in London. I think we're doing a lot better than people think we are. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I know you are. Yeah, I know that. That's the not, fact. Yeah, like, not even me personally. Mm-hmm. You know, like, mm-hmm. um, I feel in like general. in general, like I feel like we're doing a lot better than the media would have you think. Word. Um, and I feel like there's a reason for that. The media, they're gonna obviously gonna make. They're gonna put out what sells in it. So mm. if, if they're selling carnage and terror, mm-hmm. people are gonna buy that out of fear, etc. Mm. Um, but I still have like, there's still areas I think we can improve on. Oh. Um, and obviously that's my opinion, and it's not. I'm not saying that people are slacking. But for mm. example, I feel like there's a lot of group group think. I would call it. Mm. So we think as groups, and that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're mm. going in the right direction. But right now it's very like sporadic. Like every other week, like we're angry about. Something mm. we've decided to be angry together about. I, I don't feel like individuals are angry. Like, even this R. Kelly thing, um, I don't want to touch on it too long. But for example, with that, I feel like we're just we're we're picking things. But why I say that is because some people are angry about it. Yeah. And some people have been angry about it. Yeah. I think there's a big difference. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's a, and that's at a global scale. I think as young people, we're, we're learning from people above us mm-hmm. to this mentality of we're angry about something today, mm-hmm. and then tomorrow we're angry about the next thing. Okay. I think that's something we were picking up from. Do you know what's crazy? Though, gener- say that, older that, generations. Uh, when I think about when I was young, that we didn't have that sense of we're all mad. Do you that's know, what I'm trying to say. Shit, but it's like now you're all mad at shit. Yeah, but everyone, it's like, and it's almost a thing where if you're not angry with us, guided. now what angry are you? You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even. The, I said R. Kelly. But I mean, R. Kelly. Just touching R. Kelly thing. That. Yeah. That is wrong. Like, yeah. I, I, I want to say, I was saying, I'm like, not he's, saying he's, 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 I'm not saying he's, and we should be angry about it. Yeah, yeah. People have the right to be angry about it. I'm not nah, saying, I'm not saying he's I, not. Yeah, he's right, just, cool. I'm basically just, saying, just yeah, just to clarify as well. I'm saying they yeah, should yeah. be angry. Yeah, yeah. What I mean is, Good. it annoys me because I don't, I can't, I don't, I don't trust their anger anymore. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay. I don't know if people are posting about him because they actually think what he did is wrong, or because they think it's a trend, and it hurts me because I think this could actually be something that. Has been sorted, could have been sorted a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And with, with a more recent thing, like, um, you know, I don't even say things like in the current news, but every time this thing comes up of something to be angry about, mm-hmm. I feel like it's good that there's been exposure to the, the problem, but it annoys me because it's like, are we really, do we really care? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's one thing I feel like is a problem. Yeah. Um, I don't I know what you think about that. Like you, tell, like, you tell me as a young person, do you, do you care about these things? I do care about them, but at the same time, okay, for example, Brexit. Mm-hmm. I care about Brexit, but I really don't care about Brexit at the same time. Why don't you care about it? Because I feel like the people who are arguing about Brexit that I see mm-hmm. most of the time on, on TV and on news, mm-hmm. I don't think these are people that care about anything I'm doing. Like, okay. I know it's a blanket statement and very broad, Yeah. but growing up, I don't feel like that part of society ever had any interest in what me and Femi and Peckham are doing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So okay. Agreed. And likewise, however, I'm going to be a hypocrite because... Yeah. My personal behavior doesn't reflect this, but oh. like, like me acting the way, like say not voting and shit. Yeah. Like with that, I've taken the responsibility to like to tell pe- to, like, to tell young people that yeah. they should vote. Like, yeah. And like, I, I, I get it. I get it. I'm yeah. not trying to. Do I'm not. I think people should vote. Think I'm better. Whatever. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, for me, a different set of like yeah, ideas, yeah, yeah. Set, different kind of set of rules and stuff. But I do like if you if do you feel like if like Brexit was communicated to you in a way that you understood and you understood how it would affect your day to day, would you feel more in tune with what's going on? I feel on? like I would and I for example I study economics. So mm. like when this was happening, when we voted leave, mm. I was just entering my final year. Right. So like So you knew the implications. Yeah, so I knew leave. I knew the I know the implications. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of us have been in survival mode from day one. So <laughs> not, so now what? Like so just because more people are joining us, it's not really changing much. Right. You know what I mean? Like and how do we get here in the first place? Because if I can understand why this is bad for us or good for us, I'm not even gonna pick a side. Yeah. Why don't the general public understand this? Why is there you know what I'm trying to say? There's so many things. And just for me to think yeah. and think, are you guys even genuine about why we're in this place or not? So Mm-mm-mm. I got to a point where I'm like, I understand it, I know why it's important, but I'm not gonna let this dictate like me personally. Okay, cool. You know I mean? So we're coming from similar, similar spaces, yeah. like literally. But um, I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't want to be anywhere and like, like almost confuse people and divert them from voting and doing what they feel is necessary. Like, yeah. honestly, do what you got to do and like look at the greater good. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, if your if your goals and like your ambitions, like, are in EU and the EU is what you know, and the UK is like where you want to have businesses and like. Do import export you know, like, like this shit should matter and like yeah. you should like want to it matters but it. I can't trust who's running I mean, but this but at like. the same time at the same time people have different ambitions people have different goals yeah like, long term goal is to stay here 
for me personally. Okay. So, that's a, and that's another thing. So in a sense, that's another you thing. could say, yeah, you're being selfish, but... No, man. You know what? You know that's what a very good point you raised, yeah, because the way I say I always I say to people all the time, like, most of our parents didn't come, weren't born here. They took, they took mad right. risks to get here. Right. There's mad stories about mm -hmm. having to deal with immigration, etc. Yeah. Yeah. So now that I'm here, am I really going to be here just to be just to be like a general like person? When I, we could have done that back home. Do you know what I mean? So you might as well do a madness here. And a madness, I mean, like, push yourself, go the extra mile, right. make something of yourself. Right. Get the education. Get the education, um, build yourself up, do right. something. And right. then maybe if you want to go back, you can go back. If 100%. not, you can stay in it. That's what I promote. I, I really promote, like, empowering yourself as much as you can and i guess that's like echoed throughout everything i've done you exactly it's yeah like, ain't no one no one's ever done anything for me like do you know what i'm saying like, i've never even looked to anyone to do anything for me that like, just it doesn't sit it doesn't feel right and it's like in the sense of give and take or even just transaction of like value yeah it doesn't like what who why are you doing something for free like that doesn't even make sense you know what i'm saying i understand grinding and coming up and you got to do certain things but yeah. so i've never really looked for that that free ride shit's never meant to be easy like yeah. damn like people really like look at the hardest top paying professions like people study and work and go hard like do you know what i'm saying yeah. same as like i've seen companies being built over 12 years where man didn't have holidays like man was just working do you know what i'm saying yeah so like <laughs> it's not it's not like a mad equation like how do you make it like you literally work hard and like that level, like that level of working hard, is it can be different. It's different for every, all of us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and it may take us. It may take someone five years of slacking and two months of working hard and make it, and it may take someone seven years of working moderately. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like however it fits. Okay. And like, for me, it's just like I try to keep a consistent output or a consistent like leveling of myself so i'm always like either acquiring new skills or contacts or businesses and hitting the chance and coming to a point where i'm like all right, this is what i'm doing we're gonna do that boom okay we're gonna do that properly and then all right cool that's either in a space where i wanted to go or not go shit you learn it's all right what else but it's all like fueled from like interest like, i'm not doing anything from a money perspective do you know okay. what i'm saying like, yeah i, I kind of learned that from school like selling watches and stuff like I was selling that like, you know, just trying to like, everyone's doing a little thing if it's canteen or but obviously like, again I want to do something a bit different I like these watches I was like ah, there's a little flip on them getting from eBay <laughs> whatnot I don't really give I don't care about the product I don't care about what I care about is the style and the profit margin so two days after or not even two days lunchtime when they're breaking <laughs> at, at basketball and people are looking for me to follow oh the questions do you know what I'm saying that's yeah. where like my my like sort of understanding of like cool like what are you selling <laughs> came into you know what I'm came into example. play so I don't take take for granted like I try and hit things that I'm interested in that I feel like there's an untapped market of people that will all just be interested in and do it to the expectations necessary no, no, I hear you and I think what you, what you said as well this, I know watches is like a it's like a small example but I think a lot mm. of people do that now with our time mm. and what we put our time into yeah um, I think a lot of us are willing to sacrifice our time because of you know whatever it is the money mm. or not even money so much I'm, I'm realizing more just being able to tell someone you do something yeah is a lot more important to people than the actual happiness do you know what i mean mm. so i've left uni now mm. and what, over a year now i think a lot of people who've graduated just being able to say oh fam, obviously you know I, I work in this place now mm. or i do this mm. that's all they need like that's that's literally and then they're comfortable and it's fine yeah like that's what's keeping them going just the fact that they can attach themselves to something mm. So that's that's something, and that's that's not that's not to discredit them. Like literally, like, we need everyone. You know what I'm saying? Like the society is not gonna work if everyone wants to be a fucking superstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could work, but it's a totally different society. It's a society we've never seen. Like we've never seen a, a vibe where everyone's on. That like, unless you were talking way back, like do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Days. But like and empires and shit. But yeah, and even then there was class. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like I'm not saying it's bad. I'm, I'm actually, it. what I'm saying is what I what I disagree with is mm. if you're gonna attach yourself to something, yeah. do it because you you love it, you want to do it, not because yeah you feel like okay everyone else is doing something. Okay, let me do this yeah, just so yeah, I can yeah, say. But I mean, some things you fall in, some things you don't know you're gonna love. Like you may fall in love with retail, but I don't mean you have to stay at Tesco. Like you can maybe get to Harrods. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, it's just your perspective. Like. Like no one's asking you to be 
Mariah Carey tomorrow. Yeah. But like in your realm, you could be like lead by uh, Arabs. And do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you if that's the role you want to take, and that and that's necessary. We need you, and it's just similarly like you may like driving and shit. Like bus drivers get paid a, a decent wage. Like if you can drive the bus, like get that check. Do you know what I'm saying? You get free travel as well. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like TFL is a great hustle, yeah. bro. What do you mean? They're making money. So it's like TFL. I don't know. Like if like I say interest needs to meet some sort of passion, or it needs to serve some sort of passion, and even if it's an interim, like it's as long as it serves and like. And you're trying to better yourself and you're trying to get to a point of like freedom of some sense, isn't it? Like be it like financial or employment, like okay. however, like just some sort of freedom, man. Like shit, what else are you trying to do? I hear you. you know I mean? I hear you. And just to round up now, just thinking, I know this is like a typical thing to say, mm. um, but because of the kind of person you are, I think it's a it's a decent question to ask still. Mm -hmm. um, you have a lot of things that you that you're involved in. Going forward, like, how do you want these to, like, play out? Like, I'm not going to give a time frame, but, like, how do you want these to, like, continue to grow and branch off into different things? Um, however they should, however they, however they deserve to, really, bro, like, it's not just going to happen, so, like, either I want to do it or I don't, and it's, like, it's that journey of me finding out <laughs> do I want to do it, do you know what I mean? And that might that might end up in maybe sending it to someone. That doesn't have to necessarily end okay. in, in failure, but it may end someone part acquiring it or you know, or taking yeah. a percentage or taking majority share. Do you know what I mean? But like, shit, like everything has to end. Like, I mean, like, I'm not, I, I can't see things statically anymore. Um, I read a great book, um, Designers Art, and the main takeaway from that was like not seeing things as static and seeing everything as like a having a lifespan like even from still images so like understanding that isn't like like that is on a maybe a april day in 2000 and whatever do you know what i'm saying like in two months it may not look like that okay. just understanding or do you know what i'm saying just yeah, understanding yeah. certain things is not being so everything is everything is me yeah so I'm, i look at people like that as well like so there's no one that i'm counting out it's just do you want to get your shit, your shit together and okay for me it's like it's the same thing, same principle. And doing it multiple things even kind of makes it a bit more difficult because you've got so many different things to focus on. Do you sometimes think it's because a lot of people say, oh, you know, focus on one thing. Yeah, you yeah. Know. So what's your take on that? Obviously, I'm, you're I'm doing more than one thing. I'm on multiple avenue, um, revenue streams. That is what I'm on. Multiple revenue streams. Um, you, you can lose your job tomorrow. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no sense of security in that. I could... God forbid something might happen to my hand and I can't design anymore. Shit, I got. <laughs> like, I ain't trying to be out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I gotta make sure I, I can survive. So multiple revenue streams, but of things that you want to do. So okay. many different jobs, bro. That you can want to do. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, what part of it is exposure and access? Hundred percent. Just something that I guess you just gotta try and penetrate and make it easier for other people. Yeah. Because until like you know what I'm saying, that's why I encourage like yourself to like, just come through you come to the office and like and be in these spaces because I wasn't and it's like imagine I was <laughs> with my little interest of design like it's I true. could be on like, you know what I mean I could yeah, be yeah, like yeah. nah I'm going to be like homeboy you know what I mean but didn't really have these examples so again my part my, they might just be helping other people get I don't know but uh, I'm going to be good <laughs> you know what I mean I'm going to be good regardless I'm, good. I'm not good yet but I'm going to be good okay well yeah I think that's like, that's that's enough for today, man. That was Thank a good you, conversation. Sorry, Thank you very much for coming through. Bro. No worries, man. Pleasure, no worries. man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate no it.